So let's continue our synthesis of our molecule. So let's suppose we want to begin with the following starting material, with the following alkene. And we want to build the following four different products from this same alkene. So let's begin with A. Now once again in this lecture we're not going to deal with the mechanism of the actual reaction. We're just going to deal with what reagents should we use to produce the following products from our starting materials. So to begin, let's look at product A. So what exactly is product A? Well, product A is an alcohol, and on top of that, it looks like it's a Markovnikov's product. That means this OH atom, this OH hydroxide group, is attached to the more substituted carbon. Because this carbon is a tertiary carbon. We have one, two, three methyl groups attached to this carbon. So this will be a Markovnikov product. And that means in order to produce a Markovnikov product, we simply have to follow a straightforward hydration reaction in which we use a trace amount, a small amount of our catalyst, our hydronium acid, and then we place it into a solution of water. So in the first step, this alkene is protonated. In other words, the H goes onto this carbon so that we produce the more stable tertiary carbocation. In the second step, this water acts as a nucleophile, taking or attacking this carbocation. And in the final step, we deprotonate that uh, water group forming our hydroxide and regenerating our acid, our hydronium. So, in this reaction, if we add the following two reagents, we should get the following product as wanted. So, we'll have a methyl group and an OH group attached. So, this is the more substituted Markovnikov product. So, let's go to product number two. So, now, once again, we have an alcohol, but the alcohol, this hydroxide group, is attached to the least substituted carbon. So this carbon is a primary carbon. And that means this will no longer be the Markovnikov, but the anti-Markovnikov product. So here we no longer use a straightforward hydration reaction, but we have to use hydroboration. So in our first step, we add a BH3 molecule. In the second step, we add our hydrogen peroxide and the hydroxide base to produce the following molecule as needed. So we produce the hydroxide group on this top carbon. So now we want to go from our, pro from our starting material to the following product C. So notice that B and C are very similar in that both of these groups are attached to the least substituted carbon. So that means in order to produce C, we must first produce B and then we can add a hydrochloric acid molecule to produce C from B. So once again, we essentially add a BH3, then we add our hydrogen peroxide, an OH, and finally we add our HCl. So what happens is the H protonates this oxygen, creating a good leaving group. The good leaving group is then displaced by this chloride V and SN2 reaction because this is a primary carbon. And we produce the following molecule as wanted. So this is a Cl. And finally, in the last step, we want to produce the following molecule. So once again, this is pretty similar to this molecule and this molecule, but now we have the following OCH2CH3 group attached. So there are a few ways that we can go about solving this problem, uh, synthesizing this molecule. We can either choose to produce B or C and then produce D. So let's suppose I want to synthesize this uh, by first producing B, then producing C, and finally by producing this molecule. So, let's begin by synthesizing B. 
So the same exact step, we add BH3 and then we add our hydrogen peroxide and our um, OH. And now we produce the following molecule. Okay? So now we have this molecule. So we have a choice here. We can either go on to produce this or we can simply take this and mix in the following molecule. So since we want this molecule, we simply mix in HOCH2 CH3 and what happens is this alcohol protonates this oxygen creating a good leaving group and then the alkoxide what that does is it displaces this carbon kicking off our good leaving group producing the following molecule. So this concludes our synthesis reaction.